Now I'm going to show you the manifold help functionalities R has to offer. The first thing you could try is help dot start and then empty brackets. And this will open this help window where you can get some kind of manuals and references and some more accompanying materials. For example, here you can find the introduction to R. In case you do not know it, this is a very useful PDF and you can definitely take a look into this introduction. You can also find things like the R language definition, some kind of internals or R data import export documents. So this is one of the proper places where you can find some material to start learning R. If you have a question concerning a particular function, you can for example go to the help window and type in the name of this function in this window down here. So for example, in this case, let's take a look at the hist function. This is the function for the histogram. Please note that if you would type in question mark hist, this would do the same thing. It would open the help window for this function. At first we see that this is about the hist function and this is within the graphics package. We can see a brief description of this function. We can see how to use it and over here is some kind of very important tool because this shows us all the default settings for this function. We can see all the arguments that can be used together with this function and we also see all the default settings. If we would not change the argument breaks, the computer would use the setting Sturges, for example. In this case, Sturges is an algorithm which R uses to calculate the breaks points for histograms. We can also see many more arguments like for example probability, frequency, include lowest, right angle and so on. So there are many many arguments and what those arguments are meaning you can find below here in the arguments section. So for example, you would learn that x is a vector of values for which the histogram is desired. Basically the input data vector for your histogram. You would also learn what breaks are, what frequency means, what angle, coloration, border and so on means. So basically if you are using the histogram or the hist function, you can use all those arguments to manipulate and to format your histogram. And that is the reason why the help function is so important, because that is the place where you can gather all the information to work with your specific function. You can also try the apropos function. This is basically a list of all the functions which contain the letters hist or h-i-s-t in it. So it is a list of similar looking functions. You can also get an example for your function. In this case I am typing in example and then brackets hist. And if I am running this line, you will now see that the computer prepared an array of different histogram examples which I can take a closer look at. So that gives me a good overview of what I can do with this function. R also offers some kind of documents called vignettes. To learn more about that you can type in vignette and then empty brackets and over here you would then actually get a list of all the vignettes which are available for any specific package. So in this case we can take a look at the vignette for the package grid there is this vignette called grid. If we want to take a look at that one, we would just have to type in vignette brackets quotation signs and then the name of this vignette. In this case grid and if I'm running this one, the computer would now open this PDF with this information material in it. So as you can see R offers some really helpful tools which you can use to have your specific questions answered.